other stuff. You know, giveaway projector, giveaway movies, still books, all kinds of other shit. And uh, definitely a big 50% on discounts on very expensive high-end audio equipment. If you guys follow my channel for high-end equipment, there's always good discounts. There's going to be a good discount on an Arcan processor coming up very shortly as well. So uh, stay tuned for that if you are a Patreon patron. Um, one other thing, let's talk about the Vivid Storm ALR Electric Floor Rising Screen. There aren't too many products that I get interested in reviewing. And I, and I wasn't too interested in re reviewing another projector screen. But the Vivid Storm showed up at my doorstep. Shout out to Vivid Storm, the folks over there. Um, they sent over the screen for me to review. And uh, the screen is actually kind of awesome. Um, I really wish I had, like, a, my apartment is not that big, so it's like I have all kinds of stuff here. I got, right now, if I spun the camera around, there's like so much crap in this, uh, my lobby, <laughs> in my lobby right now. I've got like name speakers, I've got, uh, I've got golden ear sound bars, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so it's like, it's almost come, it's almost becoming to the point where it's like, I'm gonna have to buy a house soon so I can have like a studio area. But um, they sent me over the hundred, the one hundred inch Vivid Storm uh, projector screen, and uh, I didn't think it was gonna be that much of a difference when I when I watched it. But it was pretty impressive, man. It was very impressive when I used it with the LG. If you're watching a very very dark movie during the daytime with a lot of lights, then yes, it does become a, a little bit of an issue. It does. Blacks just don't look black if you're watching them with a lot of if you're watching a movie with a lot of um ambient light. But if you're watching kind of like normal T V programming with you know brighter colors, then um then uh look at that. Oh, thank you, new Patreon patron. Thank you, Joseph. You must be watching the uh the stream right now. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining Joseph Patreon. Um but um, yeah, so as for the ambient light rejecting screen, Vivid Storm, if you are watching with a lot of light in a very dark movie, like say if you're watching like a Christopher Nolan Batman movie, then yeah, it does become very washed out and it does become kind of hard to see, very fine detail. But if you are, you know, watching like something with some brightness to it, then it looks very good during the day, I gotta say. Um, if you are got the curtains kind of drawn a little bit, but still with a little bit of ambient light coming in, but still with your overhead lighting, like maybe you have some can lighting, or maybe you've got a, I have like um, like a ceiling fan with lights in it, um, then it's totally fine. It looks really good. It looks mm, definitely better than with a with the curtains totally open. Then it becomes really washed out. But the curtains like maybe like half drawn, then it becomes definitely more usable. But just just with like just like with your everyday room lights, it looks perfectly fine. It's like maybe let's say one hundred percent with the lights off. That'd be the perfect scenario. With the lights on in your room, like eighty percent. That's what I think. That's how I feel. And uh, like I said, like I mentioned, my wife could care less about audio and video and everything like that. But uh, I once I put up the. Um, Actually, I had the daylight 92 inch screen that was covering my 75 inch Sony, and she was a she was a big fan of the Sony because it was a 75 inch, and we replaced the we replaced the 65 inch A1E OLED with the 75 inch 900F, and she was like, "Wow, it's like a movie theater in here, except in the living room." So she she was a big fan of that, and then I put up the 92 inch daylight screen with the ultra short throw, and she was like, "This looks like crap." can we go back to the normal TV? Because she doesn't always have to want to turn off the lights to watch TV. And then when I threw up the Vivid Storm, automatically she was like, why are, you, why are you turning off the projector? I was like, well, it's pretty cool because the projector screen drops down. Now you can just watch your TV because you're more happy you're watching the TV set. She goes, no, well, she goes, no, just keep the screen up because it looks good right now. I was like, oh, it looks good. I was like, why does it look good? She's like, because I can see it. And that's because we had all the lights on, and the ALR and the Vivid Storm was up, and it was pretty impressive. Like I said, it was like eighty percent of what it would look like with the lights off. So I mean, if I get the if I get the thumbs up with the wife in the living room area, 
Because my, my room is like the home theater area. That's like my domain. Like She doesn't tell me what to do in that area. So she was happy that she could actually watch a gigantic screen in the living room with the ultra short throw. All because we had the... Um, the ultra short throw ALR screen in there, so I mean, if I got the if I got the thumbs up with her, then the screen must be doing a good job. So I mean, it is a little bit pricey. It's like eighteen hundred dollars, but I mean, just the performance that I got from it for having that large of a screen in the living room. Like I don't have the biggest living room, but it was pretty impressive what uh, the the kind of quality that I was getting from the screen. And uh, I'm from from what I hear from what I'm hearing, there's better ALR screens out there and I'm not saying I'm getting another ALR screen probably this week but I think I'm getting another screen this week which I would like to see how it compares to the Vivid Storm and I'm getting some other stuff this week as well but uh, I'm kind of ex kind of uh, interested to see how I mean, to see how another ALR company is going to do against the Vivid Storm because I was thoroughly impressed with it and the fact that and the fact that you don't have to mount it on your ceiling you can just keep it level on your floor or on a TV stand uh, that's pretty impressive because not everybody wants to look at a gigantic screen when the projector is off. So we just, you know, just roll it right back down. It just disappears. Um, I would definitely advise if you're getting that type of screen that you put it on some sort of furniture because you don't want to put your very expensive ultra short throw projector on the floor because uh, who knows, maybe you're going to come home drunk one day and you're going to kick the projector or maybe you got some kids that's going to walk into the projector or you got some animal, your some pets or something. So I think if you're going to pick up a screen like that, that you get some furniture that's going to accommodate it. That's definitely going to raise the projector off the floor. But yeah, man, that uh, the screen, uh, I was really impressed with it. I was excited to check it out. I don't get excited about checking out too many products because a lot of products, the um, it's kind of just like the same thing over and over again, especially... You know, when you start doing the same, when you start doing speakers, kind of speakers always, they tend to kind of blend together. Um, processors and receivers, they kind of just, they kind of blend together. Um, but this is this is, was one product that I was kind of excited to check out. So um, kudos to Vivid Storm for putting out a innovative product, I think, and uh, something that's attainable to a lot of people.